Hey everyone, and welcome to a really brief how-to video. This is going to be concerning the counter that we use to keep track of scores in our archery range. And this video is in response to a question from Lazy Narwhal on Reddit. He uh, didn't quite follow how this works, and I imagine he needs one for a build of his own, and so help a fellow redditor out. So let's get started right now. Uh, before I explain exactly that, I'm going to go over the basic idea of locking repeaters. And I'm sorry if you already know this, but uh, I'm just not familiar with the extent of knowledge that Lazy has concerning redstone. So a repeater extends the signal length of uh, redstone. Redstone can travel 15 blocks on its own and then it will die and need a repeater to extend the signal length. Uh, when you put a repeater into the side of another repeater, what it does is it puts the repeater here into a locked state. You see this bar, it means it's locked now, which means that it, whatever output it has is going to stay that way no matter what you do to it. So you can see there's no power going here, but it's locked on already. And it can, same can go for reverse. See, now it's unlocked. I can turn off the power. It turns off here, and I can lock it. And then this will not change anything. And that basic concept is what we used for the counter. Okay. So if you come over here, you can see a system of locking repeaters here. And basically the idea is that they're always locked and that when a pulse comes from a target because you hit the target or whatever uh, it does a check through this line here to see if any of these torches are lit up. Which basically says uh, whether or not there's already a score on the screen. And I'll explain this in a little more in a second here. But basically because there's not right now it tells it that you need to send a pulse into the system. So I'm going to press the button once to simulate hitting a target. And what you're going to see now is that this line is on and this repeater is now locked on, which is powering this block here and sending the power out this direction. It also turned on this torch here, which uh, goes into the line and says, hey, there's already a uh, number selected. Uh, no longer pulse power into this line or else it'll just fill up and that'd be bad. So what's going to happen the next time I press this button is that these repeaters are going to turn off briefly just long enough for the power to travel into this repeater and relock and enough time for this to travel out of this repeater and relock. So if I press this button here, I don't think it's going to be easy to see. Maybe if I grab, oh. Okay, I'm just going to press the button here. Okay. So it unlocked these repeaters just long enough, the power went into this one, and then relocked. Not long enough for it to go through, and a lot of this is just timing stuff. It'd be just guess and check until you can find the exact right uh, timing to allow the signal to only travel one block every time. And you see, this torch is off now, but this one is on, which is connected to the same line still. So it still tells this uh, not to pulse power in. And I guess I'll show you what happens if this line didn't wasn't here. So I'll take out this repeater there to simulate the same thing. Now when you press the button it's going to start a new uh, line of power and every time you press the button that, pa that line will shift one and it'll put a new line there so basically you're just flooding the system now. Without that check in place it uh, fails to operate correctly. So now if I put that in and I press the button, these will shift over all one, and this will no longer be here. And I'll, uh, this is the clear logic here. And basically all this is, is when you turn the clear on, which is this button here, it retracts this block and cuts off power to these repeaters here, unlocking all of these and giving the power time to flow all the way out of the system, basically. So I hit this button here. Now all these repeaters are unlocked. And it's going to wait until all the power is out, and it's down here too, 
and now it'll re it'll uh, relock all the repeaters and it's ready to start counting again. So yeah, that's the basic idea. I really hope this was helpful. Um, if not, let me know and I will do something even more uh, involved. I could do a, a piece by piece build if we need to. I was hoping I'd be able to explain it well enough here. So let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, have a good one, guys.